Hello and good morning from the Disney's Animal Kingdom parking lot. Get excited. If you are new here, my name is Lauren and this is Pixie Dust and Points and I love to share my adventures in living a healthy lifestyle with a little bit of Disney magic. So today we are going to go play in the park for a little bit, see what we can find there. Um, a lot has changed in the Disney parks recently, obviously since they've just reopened back up. So I wanted to take a look at the food situation here at Animal Kingdom. I know for sure that I am grabbing lunch at the Satuli Canteen, which is one of my all-time favorite places and a super great place uh, to get an on-plan meal with WW, or if you're looking for just a healthy meal, it's fantastic and so delicious. Uh, but we'll see what else they have and what other fun we have along the way. So let's go on in. I'm going to get some steps in and not to the front of the park. The trams aren't running right now, but I like to walk here, especially at this park when I can. Get some good steps in before I get to the gate. This is why it's fun to walk here. They have these cute little signs. This is Unicorn Queue. It's main entrance, five to six minutes. Just over a quarter of a mile or 164 elephant steps. So cute. So I am at the main entrance area now. I'm going to get my temperature checked and then go to security. They have a brand new completely contactless security situation here now and I love it. So I should be in the park in no time. Okay, that was super easy. I got right through. There were no lines, which is really great. We are here at the main entrance now. Looks like we're gonna have a good day. There's a cast member up here with a sign. I don't know what he's telling me. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Okay, he was saying you need to have a physical ticket. All pre-purchased tickets need to have a physical ticket. So we're good to go. Good morning. Thank you. Look at this. See if we can find any animals we just walked in. I love these gardens. Oh, I spy. There's a little bird. Here, little bird, you see him. Hello. Oh, it's a flamingo. Good morning. And another non-flamingo bird. Ducks. And some ducks, of course. Oh, this is exciting. The Island Mercantile is open. Last time I was here, they were still closed. So that's exciting news. And there's also the Riverside Depot over here to the right. I'm gonna pop in here really, really fast because I'm looking for a cookbook. Okay, I did a quick run to their home section. I don't see what I'm looking for, but I see tons of things that look really great in my kitchen. How cute would these be for spices? I love them. And this sweet little pillow. Okay, I can't do it. Gotta keep moving. Okay, so I'm walking by Pete Safari. This is typically a pizza restaurant. It's really pretty inside. But I noticed that outside it looks like it is currently a relaxation station. So this is a spot where if you need to take your face mask off and rest and recharge for a few minutes, you can. So good to know if you're looking for a relaxation station. That's a nice shaded one. So 
So my favorite thing about Animal Kingdom probably is that there are so many hidden trails throughout the park. So wherever you look to your left or to your right, there's probably going to be some sort of hidden trail that has some animals peppered through in it. Right now I'm about to walk to the Tree of Life Garden. This is an area I don't go to very often. of the tree of life we're just kind of hiding underneath it right now there's nobody over here this is amazing hi If you are looking for the Starbucks Animal Kingdom, it is called Creature Comforts, and it's right before you cross the bridge to go into Africa. So like if you're going to Kilimanjaro Safari, it is on the way to that. This is just like the Main Street Bakery where they have all kinds, like all of your normal Starbucks drinks, and then snacks, sandwiches, salads, things like that. They also have the Disney Starbucks mugs here. You can now get these in some of the merchandise locations as well. I think it's time for a cup of coffee. And right before you get to Kilimanjaro Safari, you will see the Harambe Fruit Market. It's just a little kiosk off to the side, but they do have water, fruit, they have Mickey pretzels here as well. I misspoke. I think they have Simba pretzels. Let's see what this is. It's some sort of pretzel. I can't tell what it is. <laughs> So I wanted to step aside because it was getting a little busy in that area and there were people who were actually in line. But I did notice that they do have corn on the cob um, at the uh, fruit spot as well. They also have mini baby bell cheese, they have cuties. So that's probably a really, really good spot if you're looking for a snack. Like I was saying, it is a little busy over there because it's right where people enter to go on Kilimanjaro Safari. But if you go just a little bit behind it, takes you back to the Harambe Marketplace, which is where I am right now. This is normally one of my favorite quick service spots in the park. It's not open right now, but there's tons of seating outdoors here, and I will show you around. It's so cute. So here's the entrance to Harambe Market. Don't forget to wash your hands. Clean hands means clean food. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great. Good, Good. thank you. If you are like me and you're a fan of Disney details, I'm just obsessed with this place. It's so cute. Barbara Michael, they will care for your hair. Look at this little happy face. Hopefully this area opens back up soon because it's just so delicious. If I ever got a tattoo, I should probably get this. Swahili proverb, a person who is in too much of a hurry stubs his toe. Oh, that's me. Probably the most famous wall back here, the You Are Most Beautiful wall. 
Hey, Captain Bridges said to me, have you gone to see the small in the back? It has its own Twitter page. Hey, right now I am outside of Yak and Yeti. Pardon the bird behind me that is very vocal this morning. <laughs> but if you are looking for a table service restaurant that's not super, super fancy, um, this may be a good one. So they do have a miso glazed salmon, um, but they also have a roasted vegetable bowl that I'm eyeing up. It says oven roasted Calbee marinated vegetables served with a flavorful blend of white and red quinoa, brown rice, and vegan sriracha aioli. So something good to keep in mind. This restaurant's beautiful. We really, really love it. They also have a room. Let's see if we can go over here and see it. It's upstairs on the second floor that has like a gorgeous view out into the park. So I big time recommend this if you're looking for a casual but still sit down meal. lunch from Satuli Canteen. I got the beef bowl and it's super lean beef over the salad today. I've been wanting to try this. It looks amazing. There's a little red quinoa mixture here with some slaw. This is going to be amazing. They also have a chicken option and a tofu, tofu option. That is a wrap on a wild adventure at Animal Kingdom today. So that was really fun. It was actually a really nice summer day. It was hot at the beginning and then we got some clouds and it was like hot but still like really nice outside so it was good to get some steps i got 8401 steps while i was there so almost to my 10,000 through that which is kind of my goal just get out walk around see what's going on um that salad i got at lunch i just have to talk about it some more because i was kind of angry when i got it that salad is now the my personal all-time favorite quick service food at walt disney world it was so good. You couldn't see all of it because when I moved the meat, then I found there was broccoli, cauliflower. It was so good and so filling. I wasn't able to finish it all. So in the end, it had uh, like lettuce, kale, quinoa. There was zucchini in the quinoa mix, uh, the little slaw on top, tomatoes. I mean, it was just it was so good and the steak is super lean and super flavorful there is a dressing on the salad which i didn't realize um next time i get it i'll just ask for that on the side whatever it was though it's phenomenal so i can't recommend it enough so definitely uh try the salad base if you go to satuli canteen but all other bases are really great so they have one that's rice and beans and then they also have a potato hash and the potato hash is like red potatoes and white potatoes so you really can't go wrong when you're there but today's lunch was just like through the roof good so big recommendations for that saw a lot of animals on the safari it's a pretty solid summer day so if there's anything else from the parks that you would like to see that I haven't shown, please let me know and let me know what your favorite quick service meal at Walt Disney World is in the comments below. But make sure to check back here soon because I'll have another adventure to share with you all before you know it. And there is no telling what kind of fun we're going to find here. So again, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that red button down below. It would mean so much to me. And thanks again. Have an awesome day. Catch you next time. Bye.